with the news of Vox.com, great, great media company. Hell Pop Punk Girl Group became the most hated band on TikTok. The internet is convinced the Tramp Stamps is an industry plant. Should that justify the dog piling? Dog pilling. Is there white women? They fuck dogs. Anyway, last week, Tramp Stamps was a new pop punk, uh, pop punk, pop punk group, girl group trying to promote their single about how much it sucks to hook up with men. It does. By Friday, the Tramp Stamps had become the internet's main characters and not in a good way. This was April 20th, 2021, so what, three days ago? Four days ago? Let's backtrack. In November, the Nashville-based band debuted on TikTok featuring three women in their 20s dressed in the trappings of stereotypical alt-light zoomers, hair dyed in a rainbow of purple, pink, and blue, dolled up in Y2K fast fashion. Love the way that they write. Their hair are actually match the trans flag. So I, I maybe they are they used to be men. I, I, I'm just I'm just starting more rumors. On their origin story, three girls got drunk in a bar and wrote a song. They released auto-tuned covers of Blink 182's "All the Small Things" and Weezer's "Beverly Hills." Came out with merch whose aesthetic was basically, vaguely. Riot Girl meets Mean Girls. They freestyled about clitorises and joked about their traumas. Legends. At least some people were into it. Before this week, when I'd see their videos on my For You page, the comments would be like, You guys are my spirit animal. And we stand and buy energy. At least some people were into it. Before this week, when I'd see their videos on my For You page... Oh, fuck, I read that. On April 9th... <laughs> They debuted their latest song, I'd Rather Die. Sample lyrics. I can't remember the last time I slept with someone I actually liked and he went down on me. I can't recall a memory of someone driving home and driving me home and not asking for a blowjob. I think that's how it goes. I'd rather die than hook up with another straight white guy. It's a bop. It's a slapper. I love the tramps, the, the clap slaps. Um, it was, like the rest of the clap slaps, ouv, ouvwa, a little corny, a little on the nose, a little try hard, a little dot 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 off. Okay, Vox. Then a predictable cycle happened. Multiple TikTokers made videos accusing the group of being industry plants, citing the fact that their PR ready website and Instagram page appeared far too polished and for a seemingly independent trio of musicians who happened to meet each other at a bar. User at Hard underscore cope. Dug into the members and found that lead singer Marissa Mano wasn't let until 2020 performing as a solo pop artist under a more standard issue glam persona, and the drummer Paige Blue has written and produced commercial music for years. It's almost like a bunch of people who were like theater majors and shit, who had rich parents, and now they're co opting Riot Girl aesthetics. And people, oh, that people literally dedicate their lives to for money, he said in this video. I'm not watching this video, I don't care. That's when the accusations that the band was legitimately problematic started to come in. Oh, God. Cancel time. Once more, TikTokers, as well as users on Reddit and Twitter, started digging. They dug. They dug. And they found that both guitarists Caroline Banker and Mayno have deals with Prescription Songs, which is owned by Dr. Luke. Great dude. Who was accused by Kesha of sexual assault. Oh. Oh, not a good dude. Duh. Others found several tweets of Mano's in which she uses the N-word. And implied she supported Trump. Many more criticized the song, I'd Rather Die, which they argued advocates for sexual coercion in lyrics that complain about men who can't get it up because of alcohol. Rapists. Anyway... By far the biggest critique of the band, however, has been centered around its alleged inauthenticity, which I'd argue is more graver transgression of young fans in a past tweet or associated with problematic fingers. Doja Cat, Kim Petras, Dua Lipa, and Saweetie have all worked with Dr. Luke, for instance, while celebrities like Justin Bieber and Post Malone have been filmed saying the N-word in the past with little detriment to their careers. Can you say, based? <laughs> there are now hundreds if not thousands of videos on TikTok explaining the clap slaps drama where commenters compete to post 
the most ruthless own. They've been described as BuzzFeed Core. Fucking legends. Thank you guys for that. Internet undefeated. The band version of Riverdale. On the nose. And major alt and goth Amazon finds that you need to purchase vibes. Who the fuck writes this? Anyway, thanks Vox. Love your... Not reading the rest of it. Appreciate you. Stupid.